What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you a backpack I just purchased and uh, the reason I want to show it to you is that I was pleasantly surprised about some stuff and there were other things that I think you should know about it before buying it. But um, I got this one, let me give you a little close up on it, but I got this one online. It is a backpack that is going to be fairly popular um, it, from a lot of different people, the same backpack, you'll see this style, it comes in a bunch of different colors. It is a 30 liter, and the search criteria you want to use is a 30 liter backpack, and if you put the words military or tactical in there, uh, kind of brings it up, but not only are they available in solid colors like blue, black, and this tan, which is actually a little bit more like, um, kind of a a light brown is you know I guess that's what tan is but I've also seen them in different camouflage uh, colors as well uh, 30 liters is not very big I, you know as I kind of held it up there this is about what you'd expect I think out of a uh, day pack or a school backpack for kind of a middle schooler it's um, pretty large you know when it expands out and what I like is kind of all of the detail features in it so let's start on the front here and there is a strap that goes top to bottom and it's adjustable but the cool thing is you can see it kind of runs in the middle here is that it's it has a uh, release clasp here plastic and you can adjust it so the nice thing is with this little metal eyelet here uh, you can kind of fill everything up cinch it down and it kind of brings everything and compresses it back together this is going to be good for hiking where you're moving around You'll have a lot of stuff, but you don't want them kind of shaking and shifting uh, or getting jostled. And then on the sides here, you'll have uh, two additional cinch straps to tighten everything up and, and kind of, you know, compress everything down to uh, hold itself, everything in place. And then on the bottom, there are two more here as well. So lots of places to kind of uh, tighten up this pack and hold everything and make it as small as possible, especially if you're kind of moving through brush um, You can you want to keep your profile as small as possible that being said I don't really see this as a pack that a kid would use because of all the straps and it tends to be a little more uh, Durable and military like but because of its size. It's really only going to be something that you want to use for day hikes and kind of light backpacking, light camping, I should say. At the top here, or on the outside, there are two small external pockets, and they're maybe a little hard to see because everything has been flattened down from when it came shipped, but there, there, are, there is a Cordura loop here with a little bit of Velcro backing, so if you have something that has Velcro on it, you could attach them in here. Uh, this top pocket is pretty small. Uh, it's zippered, it's lined. Let me talk about the material here. Uh, it might be a little hard to see, but the material is kind of, uh, I actually thought it was gonna be canvas and cotton based, but it's definitely more of a nylon. So I expect it to be a little more durable, especially on canvas. You know, it kind of gets thin, it's easy to cut, and ends up being a lot of holes. But uh, this is gonna be a little more durable. So I was actually pleased with that because I thought it was gonna be canvas. This top pocket, is kind of this the perfect spot for oh a box of 50 rounds of nine millimeter uh, a handheld gps um half a dozen candy bars or chocolate bars or something like that so you can have stuff on the outside in kind of this pocket and it would hold a coke can in my opinion too so maybe you have a brew or something you've taken out on the on your on your hike this lower pocket here is a little bit larger it kind of is about the size to me of a tablet like a kindle or something like that it has outside straps here um so you can kind of clip things on and then each of these straps have a little loop like kind of like a pen loop uh, i'll get into that a little later because there are a lot of places to store pens in this thing um it's the, the zippers don't go all the way down but they go about two-thirds of the way down and you can put stuff in here so if you are if you do carry a tablet if you do carry like a solar panel put it in here this outside uh pocket on both of these has a um, plastic backing so assuming you're getting pelted with some rain i don't think you have to worry about at least these, this front flap uh allowing a lot of water to penetrate but there's nothing about this that says it's waterproof to me although the nylon might be pretty tight but 
Um, if you're going to hike in rain, that might be an issue. Then inside there is a pocket, a larger pocket here, and then four pen loop pockets on the outside. I always find it funny when a lot of backpacks have a lot of pen loops, like you're always carrying a lot of pens, but uh, you know, they are useful. So a uh, pocket in there on this inside of this larger outer pocket. So you have these two pockets attached to the outermost portion of the backpack. Then in the backpack itself, I showed you this pocket, there are actually two main compartments, a smaller main compartment and then the main compartment here. So on this outer uh, pocket, it the zipper again goes down to about two thirds of the way. Again, this outer flap is plastic lined or, or rubber coated. Um, and then there is an inner pocket here and then a split mesh pocket inside of here. So you can keep some toiletries, maybe a compass or whatever you're, um, something that you, you might want to be able to find quicker. And this, this pocket isn't very deep. You can see that the uh, zipper here is only as wide as this. It's basically only as deep as the, the zipper lining is wide. Um, you know, it certainly can bow out a little bit, but just keep in mind that maybe it's only about two inches thick. But this pocket is actually pretty big. The, this isn't the largest one of them all, but certainly some clothes, some, uh, you know, a foldable shovel, whatever, like you'd be able to get in that in there, no problem. Then, you have your main pocket here and this one zips down almost or unzips almost all the way to the bottom right it actually does go to this bottom flap here but you'll have to remove the side cinching straps in order to open it up all the way but again this one is a little deeper and uh there's so there is more material uh that uh gives you some depth in, in tr instead of just the zipper the outs the inner lining here has that kind of that plastic cover on it and this is fairly large you could put some clothes in here again you know not super super big this is you know if i were to put an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper in here that might give you a little context let me grab something um so if I put a piece of paper in there, you can see how big it is. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind. If you had a full book or something, uh, it would take it up. I'm just kind of thinking of like, uh, you know, a dictionary would probably fill this up pretty well. But you could put, uh, if you had a case of something in here, some clothes, you know, I'll let you be the, the creative one. But like I said, not not super big. On the, on the reverse flap, there is a mesh pocket that goes about 80% of the way down. So you can kind of separate out some stuff there. The on, the on the main back of the pocket, there's also a zipper pocket that goes about 40% of the way down. So you can keep uh, specific things in there, uh, kind of more of your valuables, wallet, whatever it might be, um, flashlight. But that's kind of your main pocket. And it's not that big, like I said, for uh, overnight or a couple, maybe a day or two, uh, or really a day hike, I think that's going to be the ideal uh, use for this particular pack. Now, I've also read a couple reviews from people that have said that uh, some of the seams haven't hold, held up that well. Uh, you know, there isn't a lot of double stitching and you can see kind of the fabric, but you know, in the $20, $30 range for something like this, you don't always expect that, you know, super great uh, construction, but Maybe a situation where you want to take a, a small sewing kit, and there's lots of those around. Now, let's look at the reverse side, the business end of it, where you are going to meet with it. There's a couple of cool things that I'd like to point out here. First of all, there are some loops on the side here where you could put in a hiking pole. There's also a, a loop on top of that. So if you have tent poles, a uh, classical hiking pole, those would be great places for it. They are on both sides. Keeps things nice and close. There are two padded straps. They are actually not permanently attached. They have a couple of uh, loops here that they connect into. So they're, they are nice and secure, but that makes them adjustable. The, so the padding does not actually attach to the backpack. That, that being said, if this thing is going to, you want padding over your shoulders, you may have to ride these pretty tight to the, uh, to the fabric, uh, to, the, to the backpack fabric. And then you have a strap coming all the way down here with plenty of uh, nylon strap here to clip things on, plenty of hooks, uh, again adjustable. There is a, a chest strap here to kind of bring that together to hold those um, the straps in place so that you don't get 
um, uh, burn and that's kind of a telltale sign that this is meant for a little more heavy duty than just carrying books. And then there also is a waist strap here. I've cinched it all the way down because this is not something I'd use a lot, um, but it, that's a nice too, so you can kind of put the weight on your hips. Like I said, this isn't a super big bag, so I kind of expect this waist strap to be pretty high on you, but if you lower the backpack down where it's not sitting, where it's sitting closer to your shoulder blades or the bottom of the shoulder blades, you can extend these these straps out so that it rides a little further down. You put the waist, the, the weight on your waist, and you'll get a little bit more um, padding up on your shoulders. So that's, that's pretty nice too. Uh, and then if you look at the back of it, it does have some breathable mesh. There's a little padding here. I was actually surprised on that. Uh, you know, some day packs are going to have a really thick padding here to make them very comfortable. But I was pleased to see that there is the breathing mesh material here and uh, some distinct padding. I, you know, that I wasn't expecting that that uh, in this price point. And then the last pocket that I want to show you, which I was actually pretty pleased about, is a, uh, a Velcro pocket right on the back here. And this is perfect for... One, if you had a map or something, you could use it kind of like a map pocket, but you know, your camelback or your hydration pack can fit in there, run the, uh, run the straw th up through one of the loops on your, your shoulder pads or your shoulder strap here and have that available. So I was happy to see that, you know, it even had kind of a hydration pack capability. On the very top, there's also a handle here. There's again, more uh, straps and loops and things like that. Actually, uh, there's a little, there's a little cover here, a little elastic cover underneath the handle, so you can grab it from the top, but I thought maybe there'd be a little hole under there for like an iPod or something like that. There isn't, and it doesn't go all the way through, so I'm not real sure what that's about, but, uh, you know, a nice handle if you want to carry it on top. The only other thing that I might change is, uh, you know, some of these, it'd be nice if there were a handle on the side too, so you could carry kind of more like a messenger bag in a pinch, but, uh, you know, that's... That's something I don't really see anywhere else, and it's just kind of a personal personal request. But like I said, for $20 or $30, if you search 30 liter tactical military backpack, this is what you come up with. Uh, you know, the pictures can be a little deceiving because they can look much bigger. It's not that big, kind of like a giant, like a teddy bear size. But this is great for having a, a quick bug out bag or something for your day hikes. The last thing I'm gonna talk to you about here is, this might vary on what you have, but these uh, plastic straps and the buckles, et cetera, et cetera, are pretty well made, but they're certainly not as durable or strong as, you know, a truly purpose-built name brand backpack. Um, so keep that in mind that the plastic is a little bit flimsier, you can kind of tell off the bat. But the thing that I wanted to point out, which I actually had to take a little action on, was these are usually kind of molded and then broken off of a big piece of plastic. So, you know, it's kind of like um, building a model airplane. There are little burrs where, try to focus in on there for you, um, where they were kind of broken off the, uh, the mother piece of plastic. And on some of these, they were really pretty sharp. So if you have a little emery board or nail file, that's going to be really helpful in taking some of these burrs off. What I actually did is I had a knife and I kind of just cut a couple of them off. You know, the plastic isn't super strong, so it's pretty easy to just kind of wick a little of them away, but then I was finding them on the floor and whatnot. So you may just, if you have a little piece of sandpaper, it's going to take you a couple seconds per to just kind of file them down there. But it is a little annoying because as I was handling it and going through it on the original inspection, I was kind of getting little nicks and they were kind of painful so there were some that were worse than others and especially when i was adjusting the straps i was catching my finger on some of the some of the little birds so you may want to take and invest a couple minutes to do that before you start using it but otherwise like i said a pretty good value for the money but i wanted to give you a little uh, little deeper look before you bought it because of those considerations so peter von banda for the 30 liter military tactical style day pack out